everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. And if you thought about growing watermelon or pumpkin or any of the squashes, but you just don't have room, well, let's talk about creative landscaping or edible landscaping. So we have our sweet potato vine, and then we have this hedge of lemongrass. And this gets pretty tall, but then I have this back space. And I purposely leave a back space because I get put all the stuff I want to grow, like watermelon, that's not as pretty. And it gets span this whole area and it doesn't bother me. Actually, some of our best um, produce has been behind this lemongrass hedge. So it just makes sense. So let's talk about watermelons. Now, the record is 350 pounds out of Tennessee, but we're not growing that today. I bet it didn't taste good. We're gonna plant the sugar baby. This produces very quickly, and I forgot, let me look. It's like um, 70 days, which is perfect for this August. So we're gonna grow these behind here. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this hole with compost. Any of the watermelons or any of the squashes, they're heavy feeders. So feed them a lot of compost. Then we're gonna fertilize with the organic fertilizer and then we're gonna mulch it. That's how easy it is. So don't waste any space. This is just a quick helpful hint. Leave a little space when you put your grass hedge in and grow all your watermelon. This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Thumbs up. One more thing camera woman told me. I forgot to say, when you grow pumpkin or watermelon, they really produce a lot of big leaves, which is perfect for areas that you want a weed barrier. This will keep all the weeds out, keep the soil cool. And uh, remember, this summer we're going to do a lot of recipes with watermelon. So stay tuned. Bye.